AS3000 states voltage drop shall be such that it does not exceed 5% between a point of supply and any other point within the installation. In this example, the installation consists of both three phase and single phase components. As a result, we are unable to use the maximum value of 20 volts if it were a complete three phase installation or 11.5 volts for a complete single phase installation. In this type of problem, we can either convert the single phase values to three phase or use the percentage method. In this example, we will be concentrating on the percentage method. Previous videos have detailed determining voltage drop of known cables, so we'll move swiftly through the voltage drop of the consumer's mains. And landing on 5.06 volts, courtesy of table 41, column 8. Likewise, for the single phase submain, not neglecting to multiply the value of VC by 1.155. This will give us a voltage drop of 5.57 volts. Table 42, column 6 being a reference for this part. Finally, the single phase voltage drop of the final sub-circuit is 8.69. Again, remember to multiply the value of VC by 1.155 as it's a single phase circuit. Table 42, column 6, the reference once more. We can now start translating these values into percentages of the relevant voltages. For the consumer's mains, we had a drop of 5.06 volts. That drop is 1.26% of the supply voltage of 400 volts. The submain attracted a voltage drop of 5.57 volts. That is 2.42% of the supply voltage of 230 volts. The final sub-circuit attracted a voltage drop of 8.69 volts. That is 3.78% of the supply voltage. 1.26% plus 2.42% plus 3.78% total voltage drop across the entire installation of 7.46%. As 7.46% is greater than 5%, this is a not compliant installation.